Hey everyone, before I start this video, I just want to quickly say thank you so very much to all the positive feedback I've been getting on my last couple of Monster Hunter videos. It really means a lot, and I just want to really quickly say thank you very much. Today on the Monster Hunter YouTube channel, a video called Tokyo Game Show 2017 Monster Hunter World went up. And man, there's a lot to talk about. There is actually going to be a lot of news coming out in the next couple days of Monster Hunter, so if you guys want to, you know, stay tuned for that, subscribe to our Train Gaming. Also, the main video that I am talking about is also in the link's description down below. But anyway, let's get started for reals this time. First things first. The faces of Monster Hunter. Mmm. God, Lord. Ra Rose, mm, Raizu Tojigmo. You know what? So we have the producer, Ryozo Tsujimoto, the executive director and art director. He's dual blading this thing. Um, we have Kaname Fujioka and the director. Yuya Tokuda, that's right. So yeah, what he said. They go on to talk about the release date for Monster Hunter World, which is January 26th, 2017, which I talked about in a previous video. Uh, again, there could be a lot of, you know, stuff that has already been talked about before. If you guys want to check out my video where I talked about all this stuff before, link in the upper right corner of the screen, little card there. They also go into the trailer we talked about a couple days ago, and I'll be skipping that just because we already talked about it. I will say, hearing the trailer in Japanese, just sounds really cool. I don't know why, Just it just does. They begin to go right into actual gameplay of like the, the beginning of the game. So when you start the game up, this is what you're gonna see. Which is essentially, you're in a first person mode. You're going into this, I believe it's a, under the boat, a bar, I'm not sure. But you sit down and you talk to another hunter. And then it goes into the character creator. Which looks really cool. And really, uh, like, it looks like there's a lot more to it. They do, however, select a preset. Uh, which is fine. The presets look pretty good, to be honest. But you can see in the left side corner here, that there's a lot more select selection. They're on Japanese, obviously, but I'm pretty sure you can do a lot more to your face. I'm just happy they didn't do what Destiny and, like, The Division did. Where, you know, they have really crappy card cur creators. Just because you won't be seeing the faces all that much. But past Monster Hunter games, uh, at least past Try and Freedom, I believe, the character creator wasn't all that in-depth either. So I'm just happy to see more character creator in this game because I want to look different than my friends. And man, if, from looking at the characters that just the pre-select alone, your characters are going to look nice. But I really can't wait to see the nitty-gritty of the creator. I want to see what kind of hairstyles. I want to see the facial, the chins, you know, everything. I want to, I want to see everything. They did say they were going to talk about it later. Uh, I can't wait to see that. I'll definitely make a video about that. After that, they go into the kitty creator, which, oh my goodness, they look adorable. But as you can see, there's a bunch of different selections for your cat. So maybe you can make your cat look really awesome. Um, I, again, I really want to see what they have with these creators. I'm really excited. It, because in previous Monster Hunter games, you used to be able to have just like two to three uh, cats with you. In the new one, you only have one, and it's a cat that you have specifically for you, which I'm okay with because it feels more personal that way when just you're one cat. And I just want to quickly point out that the facial animations for this game, at least in the cutscenes right now, are, for the most part, look pretty freaking nice. And here it is, boys and girls, the giant fuck-off dragon. This thing is massive. It's so big that the announcers actually mistake this for a, like, island mountain thing. They, they couldn't even tell. But remember back in one of my older videos where I talked about, which, now that I take a look at it, it makes me look even bigger. Imagine fighting this giant monster on this other giant monster. I was kidding, Capcom. But holy crap, that is awesome. Like, how big is this thing? It's ridiculous. The answer to how big it is, is actually answered right away. Big enough to beach a freaking boat on it. That's saying a lot. We're then going to go into the character tutorial of like how to move and climb and stuff. It's not too crazy, but it does show off how you can climb up the monster's back and how you can just walk around. It's nothing too crazy, but yeah, this thing is kind of nuts. It, it literally spews out lava from its back, as you can see right here. I, I don't know... If it has a volcano on it, if it's back, is a, is a volcano? Is it fused with the volcano? Is it just what the monster is? Is part of a volcano? I don't know. It's, it's kind of insane. We gotta kill this thing, guys. It's just fucking nuts. Uh, we then get a really good look at how just big this thing is. 
and damn, it is, yeah, it's saying, it's pretty big. We then go into some of the, you know, characters in the game. Pictured right here is the one on the left is your handler. Everyone knows her already. The middle one is that elderly old man who was giving a lot of orders in the last video. It turns out he's the commander of everything, so he's the, the, he's the hunter in charge of all the other hunters. So, I said he was the chief of the game. I was kind of wrong. He's actually just a commander, which is kind of the same thing. It's just, you're just a different name. On the right side, we have the young pretty boy face guy who I thought was just another hunter with you. And turns out he is in charge of the ground units, I guess, people who go out and hunt. He's actually the grandson of the elderly old man. He was actually born on the new continent. He was not part of the fleets that came in to discover the continent. We then finally get some name drops for some of the monsters. The giant rock volcano island thing is called Zara... God damn it! Zora Megaloros. This word... It also seems like the hunters have actually been following this thing. So people have been coming over to t kind of research this giant monster. That could also be the reason why the hunters started coming over to populate this new continent because of this monster. Maybe it drew them out of their continent to the new continent. I'm not sure. I guess the first entire half of the game is going to be used researching Zera, trying to figure out what that thing is, what it's doing, why it's kind of just doing what it does. I'm guessing it's going to have to do with the lava ball things we found out in the last video. They eventually just start to go into some free hunts, which by the way, a free hunt is where you go out into the map and just hunt by yourself without a mission and just you can gather resources fight monsters if you want it's really just the free roam uh, aspect of the game which i'm happy they brought back from try and other games like that and now we have confirmation that raytheon is confirmed obviously rathios raytheon they have to be in the same game but it's nice to have actual confirmation the hunter goes into a bush and actually starts hiding and i thought that uh, initially i thought the monster was just gonna go after him because i thought he was actually in combat but apparently if the map turns purple you are hidden from the monster so that's great we then see some super sexy hunter parkour. He actually climbs up the tree, jumps off of it, and lands on the monster. It looks so cool. The animation looks so fluid. It's a great motion. It's just awesome. Love this. After that, the hunter has to leave because he don't want to just keep fighting the Rathian. And he hooks onto one of the flying Wyrens, and he actually flies off to a different section of the map to explore. This is one of the parts I really found interesting. You went from... Uh, they, they go from the giant forest to the desert wasteland in just a couple seconds. There was no loading time, nothing, and it was great. After some time of just randomly fishing and showing off some picking up of poop and other material, uh, they go into this little cave where you see the new one of the new monsters. It's kind of like in past monster games, there's monsters called like Kudku or uh, other bird wyrin types where it's like the weaker variants of, you know, bigger monsters. Um, this thing is called the Kuyaku? Kuyaku? Yes, Kuyaku. I, I think you got that right. Kuyaku. It's a very docile creature. It doesn't really fight all that all that much. It actually prefers to run away. However, it does get aggressive when it picks up a rock, which I found entertaining and adorable. It starts getting prideful and more aggressive. However, if you knock the rock out of his hands, it kind of quickly goes back into a, like a timid nature, which... I found great, like, I feel this is kind of a joke monster, but it's still pretty adorable if you ask me. Uh, they finally go into a mission that I've been waiting for them to do forever, where they go fighting the new flagship monster that looks amazing, mind you. It is called the Nerd Gigante. You have no idea how many times I've tried to pronounce that thing correctly. This is like my 20th take. I'm going with Nerd Gigante. <laughs> It's a mix of Spanish and Japanese. I fuck. And there's actually a little bit of a cool detail thing that I noticed. The scout flies actually turn blue, from they go turn from green to blue when it's telling you that the monster you are hunting is no joke. You need to be very careful when your scout flies turn blue. And just from watching this thing fight, I, I I'm really excited because it brings a new detail to the game that I haven't seen before, where the monster actually regenerates. So say you break off parts of its arm. You need to constantly hit that arm or also keep regenerating its scales back. So when the scales are white, if they're soft and they're newer scales, you can keep trying to chip those away. But if they turn from white to black, they're hard and you will start bouncing off the monster. Which adds an entire new layer of uh, gameplay. So you have to be aggressive, you can't just back off. The problem with this is, this monster hits like a freight truck. 
So when it, it hits, actually hits so hard that it breaks parts of its arm off and other parts of its body and then it regenerates and makes it even harder. So you have to be aggressive but not stupid when fighting this thing. You have to keep up the pace and fighting this with friends is going to be fantastic. We're going to have to like manage how the scales are, what color the scales are, how much damage we can do before we take damage. Like you got to be careful. And slower weapons are going to have a uh, much harder time fighting this thing, I, I feel like at least. Because it hits pretty hard and it goes pretty fast. It also has a freaking far leap attack too. So, I'm going to have, I'm, I personally I use gun lance a lot, so I'm going to have a little trouble fighting this thing. I'm probably going to be switching between that or hammer. Because hammer's going to be breaking off these things scales. And that's it. That's the end of the video. Now... I'm really excited for what's been going on in the Monster Hunter world. I am even more hyped every time I see a new video. I get even more excited. Uh, but this is where the video is going to end now. Just because I have nothing else to talk about. So if you guys want to see more Monster Hunter videos. More streams. More news updates. Subscribe to try and get more. If you enjoyed this video, like it. Share it. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys are excited for in Monster Hunter. And if you guys want to help us out a little bit more. We have a Patreon that you guys can donate anything from a dollar to a billion dollars in. Or if you want, become sponsored on YouTube. So essentially you'll be sponsoring us, giving us about $5 a month. If you do, you will get a free badges, which is just kind of like showing that you are uh, sponsored uh, on our streams. You also get free emojis, which um, I have to still create. I actually created a badge already, which is what you're seeing right here. Uh, I'll be talking about more about this on Saturday on my vlog. But yeah, see so you guys later tonight. I'll be streaming XCOM Alien... No, it's XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. That's what I'll be playing tonight. So see you guys later, all right? Bye.